So, hi gentlemen, so welcome back to my videos. Today you can see that it's a mess on my table. It's a um, Makita Rotary Hammer Grill, it's a HR2811F. So, okay, it's a great tool, but what we need to change for it is the field, the armature, the hammer, the pair of o rings, and the spring ring, and of course the carbon brushes. So, Okay, about the armature, so I'm changing it because the field is damaged is burned out, so it's better to change the, the, the field and armature together. So, okay, I'm just throwing this one out. Okay, the field, now we need to remove the field. We can see that the field have two outgoing wires here, the white one and black one, so the white one and black one is going here and here so definitely we need to disconnect them okay not so easy as it can looks okay fuck why are not getting out Okay, I will try to push it a little bit with a knife. So, don't do that at home. Okay, no. Okay, now it's getting out. I will try not to touch the other wires because I, I don't need to disconnect them and then connect again. So, now about the field. I need to unscrew the two screws here. Removing the dust cover. And what can we see here? We can see the field here, so I will try to push it out with my fingers. Okay, it's not always going easy, so the easiest way is to hit the housing to the table. Okay, so it goes slowly. Okay, the Bars here holds it so I'm just disconnecting it and okay getting the fill out just remember in what hole it was going out so it was this hole so what can we see it's totally burn out you see the here we can compare it with the new one. Okay, so just throwing this one out. Okay, 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 okay. So now we need to install it back. Okay, it was in a hole here, so we need to get the wire here. So, okay, just pushing it in. Taking the wire out. Okay. We can check how we must align the field, or normally, it's, if you put another direction, it will not go. So, of course, now we can see the holes here and the screw holes here. So, we, we know that we need to put this in this way, and we have the wires going out. So it's easy. Okay. Now I need to push it in. Sometimes new field going inside easily, sometimes not. So, okay, of course, you need to try to push it straight so then it will go easier. Okay. This part I see is moving, so I will glue it. Okay, a little bit glue and everything will be fine. By gluing it and not just taking it out and throwing away. It's so only plastic piece, but it protects the windings from the scratches when the dirt is going inside the motor. So 
is it must be here okay so and it's really not hard to glue it so now I need to push the dust cover back you can see we have the grooves here for the, to install it correctly in a place okay okay so now it's in a place I can screw the screws in Okay, so now we have the field inside of here, so we can connect it. We will organize the wires later, I think. Okay, so now it's a time for the most important part, so the cylinder to holder, and of course the O-rings inside it. So we can see the spring ring here inside can see the small end of it and it's here so we need to take out that spring ring I will try to push it with a screwdriver okay now I need to spin it a little bit because I don't have I have only the small end here so I need to get it a little bit more it will be easier to take it out so I'm trying to spin the spring ring inside of course now it's no luck so I will try to hit the part inside okay maybe maybe you will fit yep you will fit so okay now I will try to move the ring spring so it's moving a little bit but of course that's not enough for me I can try lift it but still it's two more piece so I will try to hit it a little bit with a puncher and maybe then it will move a little bit around okay so it's moving, but it's moving slowly. Okay, the easiest way for that one is to put the tool, tool holder in the wise. Okay, I think I will try to organize the camera. Okay, so yeah, fuck touching camera with greasy hands. Okay, so. Now just putting this one to vice. Of course, trying to not damage it. Okay, now I can try to hit a spring ring to turn it around a little bit. And I can try to knock it out. Okay. It's still spinning around, so I will try to knock to the other end when it's the middle of the spring ring here. Okay, it's moving, but that's not enough, so, but I spin it around, you can see the end of the spring ring here, so now I will knock this end down and I think it will go out okay it's going out but it's bending inside so sometimes that happens so knocking the other side Yep, it's going out easily, so I will adjust the camera back. Now maybe not with the greasy hands. Okay, I will 
tight it because I don't want to lose my camera here so okay so I will try to show the ring inside it's bended inside so what I need to do now I need to take it out with the, with the pliers probably okay here you can see how it looks so it's totally damaged okay of course sometimes I am lucky enough to take it out not bend it but most of the times it's go out bend it so maybe it's my problem okay. but it cost pennies so really not worth to play with it okay so now just take the hammer parts out okay what can we see here we can see the o-ring here on the down and we can see the hammer you can see that the hammer is a little bit worn out so it's the tool is hammering not in the all four so you can see the difference on the new one and old one the old one have the bum here the new one is around to up so it's definitely different okay so the small ring, the spring ring, this one go into the recycle bin. Okay. So just taking this part out, taking out the hammer. If you are afraid you forgot how to put it inside, you can put it immediately. Okay, then goes the washer, the rubber, and the housing with the o-ring. So the o-ring is here we need to remove it with a screwdriver okay and replace it with new one okay and put it everything back so you can see how it looks of course I'm greasing it a little bit so now we can just put a all parts with our finger inside the tool holder then inserting the spring ring okay pressing it with the finger it's going almost easy okay so I will just move it down with the pliers okay so What's now? We can push the spring ring down with the screwdrivers. We can try to use the aluminum cylinder from the old Makita tool. Okay, I will try to do that with the cylinder. So now we need to hit it with something. There's all my big punches and the other parts. Okay. I will hit it with this puncher to move the ring down. Okay. Now we can see that the ring is not in place because the spring ring is here and the groove for the spring ring is here. So here is the groove and here is the spring ring. Okay. So I will try to knock it with this one harder and maybe it will go in. Okay, it's still not in a place, but it's almost in a place. Okay, it's smart way to do that on a vice or on a hydraulic press. Okay, it's almost in place. Okay, and now it's in place. We can see that the, that the spring ring is here now in a groove. Of course, check both sides. It's very, very important. Okay, throwing the old part out. Okay. So, we have this one now. It's an o ring left. So, this o ring is from the striker, from the aluminum cylinder. So, it's very easy to replace, just removing the o-ring and 
putting on the new one, so it's really, really easy. Okay, of course, greasing it, putting a little bit of grease on the end of it, and putting it inside the aluminum cylinder. You must feel some, not, not a very big compression inside. So okay, what's next? Next, we can start to assemble it. Okay, I hope I will remember everything, how it needs to be assembled. So, okay, first I will insert it here on the housing. Okay, so now we have it in the housing. Okay, I hope I will not miss any parts. So, now I will put some grease inside the cylinder. Of course, don't put too much grease. It not must be the full <laughs> full of grease. So inserting the aluminum cylinder and the tool holder. So now we have the screws here, so we can check. We need four screws. They must not be long. So okay, this one. So now tighten it with hand with Allen key or other key you have. About a newtons or something. I don't know, I'm just tightening it with hand. Well, of course tightening it well. If you want you can use the Loctite or some similar glue for the bolts, but I not recommend doing that because aluminum housing and the stainless steel screws so you will not unscrew them again after using the Loctite. Okay, what can we see now? We can spin the cylinder, it works. We can try to spin this one, of course, it's a clutch. It works now. It's uh, out, so it's spinning freely, easily. Okay, we can see how the button works here. It's lifting the gear and the clutch will start working. Okay. Okay, now I cannot press it like that. Okay, so what's next? Next, uh, some grease here. So, okay, my grease is almost out. It's not a problem, I have more. Of course, okay. I'm just cleaning the housing a little bit. It's not really important, maybe for the tool, but it's important for me. So, pressing down the gear, okay. It's not always going easy, so sometimes you need to hammer it slightly. You can hammer it slightly here, okay, to get it in. Of course, don't use a lot of force. So, now we can see that the tool holder is spinning when I'm spinning this gear, so that's good. Of course, now I feel that this spin good. Okay, we have the housing here, we have the flat washer, the flat washer goes here, so want the tip for this one if you want to make it easier to install just put some grease here then put a flat washer on it and it will hold very good so it will not fall out okay now i will put some grease here okay and close the cover So, the cover now is almost closed, so I need to install the armature here, just pressing it in, okay, 
I got it in, so now I can spin it. Try to close the housing. Okay, you can try to move it and see if it's closed good or not. So it must be no gaps here. Okay, the grease left here. So okay, inserting this beauty to the housing. holes so screwing the screws in so again searching for the four same screws Checking them with the hand. Okay, it's good. So now we can try to spin the armature winding here with our finger. It must move easily free. Okay, now we can open the cab here. Okay, maybe the pliers will be good. Okay, yep. Okay, so we can see that the connection rod inside is moving when we are spinning the armature. So that's a good sign. Of course, I'm opening it not for that. And open it to put some grease here, so... Okay. Put the grease here, cleaning it a little bit, and... Of course, closing the cap. So what we have now, we have almost assembled tools, so what can we do, we can put a, this house in here, okay, so it will start to look nicer, okay, now it's a screw here, I think it's a 4mm screw, okay, we'll try to screw it in. now so I know I think you can assemble the tool holder okay so she goes a spring and if you want I can try to zoom it if you don't want it just don't look so here goes the spring then goes the washer then here goes the ball the flat washer, the cover, the spring ring, okay, and the cap. So it's good now. Okay. So what is left for us is the cover, the handle, the spring, the knob and the carbon brush. So now I will install the carbon brush, so it's a B325. Okay, just lifting the spring up, inserting the carbon brush and connecting it. Of course. Oh, 
Okay. Installing the second carbon brush. Easy it is here. So now the wires, so you can see that it's a gaps for the wires to organize them. So put the wires in that gaps. So it's honestly it's very easy, just put the wires in the gaps. Okay, so now we have all the wires in the gaps, checking the twice. We can close the cover here. So hold it with the two screws here, it's a smaller PH2 head. Okay. While I'm closing the cover, I'm closing the cover. Of course to assemble the tool and um, the wires here will not go out from the places. So okay. What we have here now, here we have the place for wires, so you can see that from the size of them we can organize them so okay 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 not in this okay it goes like this then it goes this one will go here this one will go here okay, fuck not holds I want to show how they go inside so okay okay I need to take the field wires out a little bit because I cannot insert the, uh, the connection so the black and the white wires okay now they are really really good I just take them out a little bit, so... Okay... Fuck that drill is still losing the bit, so... Okay, what we have here, we have the connection for the field. Okay, organizing the wires. So, it's a gap here for the wires, so I'm just pressing them in. Okay, and the smaller one goes here and here. So, you can see that now we have the, all the wires organized. So, putting on the spring and trying to close the handle. Of course, try to not damage the wires when closing the handle. Okay, and the handle is on. Now we can tighten it. It's a metal screws on the top of the handle. And screws for plastic goes to the bottom. Okay. Okay, 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 we can check that the switch is working, it's working, okay. Now we need to put a push knob here, so, so not a push knob, it's a possession knob, so, and tie it with a screw. Okay, and that's all. We have assembled the Makita rocket hammer drill, it's a uh, HR2811F, it's a uh, nice tool made on 2007. So we made a maintenance for you, changed the orings. Of course I changed the field and the armature. Okay, for normal maintenance you need to change the carbon brushes, the some ball bearings, or all, all ball bearings, the orings and the grease. Okay, now we're changing the worn out parts and the burned out parts. So yeah, that's you can see that normally this repair, I don't know if you have the parts on your table or something. You would assemble it and assemble it not more than two hours, 
okay if you are making the video you are doing that in a four hours or more if you will do that according to the video I think you will make everything in uh, three hours or not more so okay you can see that it's the nice tool made very simple it's simple and easy to repair so for now thank you for watching of course always waiting for your comments on my videos always be happy to see thumb ups on the videos and see you in my next video bye